Crocktober episode number three is a super easy snack. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and every Monday and Friday for the month of October, I am sharing a crock pot recipe or slow cooker. So if you guys have any brand of slow cooker, you can totally recreate these recipes. So I do have a playlist down below if you have missed any of the other ones, but you're definitely going to want to be subscribed because I have some yummy deliciousness still coming up for this month. So today I am focusing on an after school snack for my kids. So I'm going to go ahead and get in my kitchen, get my crock pot set up and show you guys how easy it is to make this Chex Mix in the crock pot. Today I'm making a ranch Chex Mix and when I share these ingredients in one of my grocery hauls, I had a lot of y'all reaching out and saying, I hope you're gonna be sharing it. And yes, I am. All right, so I have a little bit over two hours before I need to go get the kids from school. So I'm hoping I time it correctly. It takes about two to three hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and get everything going, show you guys how easy it is. And then my kids can have it as an after school snack today. So I've got all the ingredients out. I'm going to be using some corn checks, cereal, Cheez-Its, I went for the frozen two themed Cheez-Its just to put a little fun in the snack. Got some dry roasted peanuts, some oyster crackers, some mini pretzel rounds or pretzel twists. And then we've got some ranch seasoning, sugar. This is a little bit over five tablespoons of butter, some light caro syrup, and then what I like to call W sauce because whenever I pronounce it, somebody always thinks I'm saying it wrong. You do you, girl. I'm gonna do me and we're just gonna say W sauce. All right, so regardless, it's gonna be super yummy and like I mentioned, a super easy after school snack for the kids and we will have plenty going forward for their lunch boxes. Okay, so first up, I've got a bowl and I put my butter in there. It didn't melt all the way, so I'm just going to stir it. It was starting to pop, so I was like, all right, that's enough. So we're just going to stir it and get that butter to finish melting. Good -y enough. So I'm going to add my entire packet of ranch seasoning, then one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of my W sauce. Y'all, that caro syrup is no joke. Can you even see my nail? I bent it, <laughs> bent my nail. I'm trying to open this thing. Okay, and then, shocker, one tablespoon. <laughs> one tablespoon for everything of the k syrup. I'm just gonna get out the little extra bit there that likes to stick to my tablespoon. And I'm going to stir all of these ingredients up together. All right, I set my bowl to the side. Now I'm going to spray my crock pot, or if you have liners, you can use a liner. I probably overspray all the time. I just don't like things to stick. Okay, and now we are going to add all the yummy goodness. So, about four cups of the Czech cereal. Three cups of the pretzels. Three cups of the Cheez-Its. Three cups of the soup and oyster crackers, and I totally ripped this bag in a half, so <laughs> it's, uh, woo, I'm trying not to spill them all in there. And would you like to guess how many cups of peanuts? Well, if you guess three, you're wrong. <laughs> it's only one. But if you do have a peanut allergy, you could totally omit this as well. Now, we are going to add our sauce on top of everything. And I'm just scraping the bowl so I can get as much of it out as possible. And then I'm just going to stir all of it together and try to get that sauce coated on everything. If you like a little bit of heat, 
I would totally add some red pepper flakes as well. I've done that in a couple other recipes that are kind of like just sprucing up your typical cracker mix. But my kids aren't huge fans, so I'm not going to add that into this snack that I'm making today. I think that looks good. Everything looks shiny, so I think that sauce is coating pretty much all of it. I'm going to put my lid on and cook it on low for two to three hours, and I'm gonna give it just a light stir at each hour mark. All right guys, so I just picked up the kids from school. I got the snack mix into a bowl and it's starting to cool off. It's still a little bit warm. I wanted to show you the inside of my crock pot. One of them stuck, just so you guys can see with how much I sprayed versus if you used a liner. Not too bad, but originally I was gonna say, because I've eaten a little bit already, I really enjoy it, but I was going to say maybe double the seasoning because you don't get a, it's very, very light, but once all the kids tried it, they all really like it. So maybe if I did double the seasoning, they would think it was too much. So I think this is perfect. Definitely kid approved. You like it, Pearl? I love it. Yeah, I've got two bowls out because Rose and Pearl want a little bit more. We've just been like eating out of the bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them two of their own little personal size bowls and mm -hmm. definitely a thumbs up for this crock pot <laughs> Chex mix. Okay, so I hope you guys really enjoy this recipe. If you love crock pots or slow cookers, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, I did wanna go ahead and just remind everybody who has already seen the past videos, but if you are new, I am doing a giveaway within this series. So the only requirement is that you have to watch every crock pot or crocktober video that I'm posting on Monday and Friday, which is why I made the playlist. So if you guys are behind, you can just click the playlist that's linked in the description box and it'll show you all of them up to date and leave me a comment on every single video, whether it is something to do with a crock pot or your favorite meal to cook in the crock pot, anything on that video and that gets you an entry into the giveaway, which is a crock pot and an instant pot or $150, which I will be announcing at the end of the month on my community tab. So the last Friday, October 30th, will be the last crock pot video and then Saturday morning I will announce the winner on my community tab so definitely make sure you are subscribed and you hit that bell so you're notified everything I post whether it's a story a video or on my community tab that way you guys are kept in the loop and up to date all right I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I will see you in the next video